All right, welcome back. Let's continue learning a little bit more about arrays. As promised, we are going to talk about how you can use arrays together with loops to do awesome stuff. Uh, here's our first example. I'm going to use a for loop, which you'll probably find you use quite a bit with arrays in the beginning. And I'm going to fill the values of the entire array so that all the number slots are 999. And here's basically the loop. Now, just as a little refresher, remember our array that we're using was integer nums, and I set it to hold 10 slots. And those 10 slots look something like this, except when they're made, they are all zero. And so that's our array. And that's what I'm trying to go through. And I'm trying to set every single slot to 999. Now, I'm not going to go through and do that to all of them, but that's our goal here, right? Right to the bottom. So you'll see my for loop that I've written looks nice. I start a counter at zero. I want to keep on going up to the number nine. Now, instead of saying K is less than or equal to nine, you actually will end up doing this more often and you're going to see why in a bit, but I'll say, keep going as long as K is under 10 and 10 just happens to be the size of the array or the length of the array and go up by ones. What do I do inside the loop? Well, k starts at 0, so nums 0 equals 999. Then it comes back, does it again, k is 1. Nums 1 is 999. And then I come back again, nums 2 is 999. And you can see how this cycles through really quickly. I want to show you this with the debugger, just because it's a fast, easy way to check if you've made some mistakes in your code. But remember how the debugger works in AppBeans. I can click a breakpoint in there, and when I run it, run it from debug project. And I've got mine set up nicely here so I can see all the variables. Just let me shrink this a bit here. It was set up nicely. And I'm going to expand. You'll see my array here, nums. I'll expand it open. You can actually see all the slots. And at this point in the program, I've already changed slot 0 to 124. And slot 9 has been left at 789. Now my loop takes place and it's saying, hey, slot 0, 999. Let's run that line with a step over. And you'll see it changing. You can also see the value of k here is going to be going up by 1s. And as it goes through, it's just running through that loop. And it changes all the values. And then eventually, I'm done. And now you'll see here it's already entered the next loop I've written. And you can see output in this window spitting out the values. This is basically a print the array out code. And all I'm doing here is I'm just making another for loop that goes from 0 up to a maximum of 9. And I print out index k, my counter, whichever slot I'm on. You'll see here, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I print out nums k. And so it prints out that slot that I'm on. And so it's booting through these right now. And of course, they're all going to be 999 until the loop finishes. Now, let's break out of the debugger. Take that breakpoint out. And let's look at some of the rest of the code here. You'll see here, I've got another little loop that says fill with sequential values. This is something you might want to do at some point. Start at slot 0, go up to slot 10, and instead of filling them all with 999 like I did up here, in this case, I'm going to fill them with the counter. So in k is 0, num 0 equals 0. Comes back up. 1. Nums 1 is 1. 2. Nums 2 is 2. After this loop runs, what you end up getting is you get the array filled really nicely and we can sort of show you that by putting a breakpoint in there and doing another little debug run and you'll see when we get here I can expand my array and you can watch those numbers being filled up nicely in the debugger window over here going through a nice sequential order okay until we hit our nine okay pretty good so you can see how the loops, just these quick, easy, basically two lines of code, can boot through an entire long list of values and do something. 
So using the loop, if this was a million numbers long, really the only thing I'm going to change is make my array bigger and, you know, make that go up to a million and it's going to work just fine. So that's one of the power of arrays. You can do a lot with very little code, okay, especially when your code's going to be repetitive. Now, let's talk about a couple little tasks for you guys to try to do. This one here says fill the array with random values. 1 to 6. So this is like rolling a dice, okay, or technically a die. So if I roll a die 10 times, can I fill the results into the array? You can peek at that code, you know, pause the video here, look at it, see if you agree, try to do this one on your own. Okay, notice I'm using the math class this time. Okay, and that's the proper way to use it to get 1 to 6. And as I boot through slot 0 to 9, that's the slot number I'm filling with a brand new random number every time. And I do a little printout just so you can see what's going on there. Now I'm going to slide that down because at this point we're going to break and I want you to try to do a little coding challenge or two of your own now that you know a little bit about the loops and how they work. Okay, so break the video, practice a little bit with your arrays now. We'll see you in the next video.